Morning and all, Nicholas, Adam's out there. So it's gonna be probably a short video, but I wanna explain a few things. So this is a job we did the other week where we've moved a fuse board that was on the inside of a kitchen cupboard. It was brought through the wall, brought it in here as a doorway. It's all because there's a new kitchen being fitted inside. And we want, the lady wanted the fuse board moved out. It's gonna be a lot more accessible in here as well because there's a doorway going in here and obviously there's a doorway behind me. So if it ever trips, I never filmed it at the time because we had a lot, lot to do. We've done loads of stuff like this before, um, but I wanted to run a few things, I've run through a few things with everyone. We've got to put a little socket in here for a garage door because these will be turned to electric doors uh, next week. But we had to extend the tails from the cutout. We put a KMF switch in, put them in conduit, brought them all the way down and into here. In here we have the conduit is live and there's neutral. They go through separate holes in the metal fuse board. Obviously, to some guys that don't know this, a lot of people say with the electromagnetic effects that we have through putting the live and neutral into separate holes in the metal consumer unit or an adaptable box, that sort of stuff. Because of the eddy currents and the magnetic field each conductor creates going in, they do say that if you ever do this, you should make a slot between the two holes to conjoin it, which will then cancel itself out, apparently. John Ward did a fantastic video on this quite a while ago where he actually measured the magnetic field between the two and whether it not heated up or anything like that and his conclusion it made no difference whatsoever. If I can find the video I'll put a link below um, but what I'm going to do today because I've looked into it a bit more I spoke to a good mate Dave Savory which we all know and I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this from what it is. I'm going to rip out the flexiconduit up to here I'm then going to make the slot a little bit bigger in the board itself I'm going to put the live and neutral straight through and also pull the earth through because what I've I've known you always put live neutral and earth all the way through together in a stuffing gland I just didn't have the space here in this board because of the knockout sizes but this is why I want your opinion will it make any difference whatsoever if I do this what I've done is it correct or incorrect obviously this has been like this for a week and a bit now we knew we had to come back we're redoing the kitchen um, we'd need to do a few things in the garage as well, but we've come back today, stick a socket in, I thought it's a great opportunity to show you guys to remove this, so any reg numbers, anything you can see wrong with it, please let me know. We are going to change it to what I, I deem is the correct way, but we did what we did on the day, and I've had a bit of a think about it, and I want to change it round. But we'll get the board off, Adam's just going to run a new 2.5mm, we've got in here loads of space, because there's going to be an EV charger at some point, and maybe some PV putting in here. Uh, we'll run a garage socket, so there's one socket here which is a 20 amp which actually runs over here and I'm just going to do another radial straight out of that and do a double socket on the outside. So we'll pull the board cover off, I'll show you what we've done and also at the end of the video I will let you guys know the price that I charged the lady for the job. Uh, there was eight spotlights that we put, eight or ten spotlights we put in the kitchen and also I'll put a picture on the screen now of the stuff that we found so when we removed the fuse board off the kitchen wall there was no capping, there was no protection, they were just plastered directly into the wall with the main tails and everything as well, so not the best job in the world, but I'll run this off and see what, see what, see what we've done. Right, so the good thing about this job, which worked really nicely, so directly above me is where, that's the floorboards above the kitchen, we managed to take the board off, pull all the cables into the ceiling space, Adam got the floor up above, every single cable managed to pull directly through the wall into an adaptable box above so we had enough length for us then to extend the cables and bring them down uh, this is what I mean so we've got a live and neutral and separate ones we've got the main earth here I'm gonna pull the main earth back out bring it back through Adam's just gonna get you boy gonna get a measurement of this just up here we'll just end the conduit there and we'll bring them all straight through together and this will allow Adam just to go off the 20 amp which is here bring it up bring a socket out on the side we can update the certificate uh, and also we will then send the lady the invoice which I'll show you through on Tradify which is the sponsor of today's video but I'll run through that in a little bit okay so I've disconnected all this now it's obviously all dead we've isolated over in the unit I've cut them off we're gonna do trunking at 700 which we've got here which is gonna be the same length and then I'll just notch a little rectangle out the top so these are still clipped in place we'll pull the earth out this is what I mean with if you were to just put some let's say uh, open grommets in here or I don't know, fire seal ones what they say if you notch between the two to make this one hole in theory it cancels out the electromagnetic field did you know that boy? no, no. 
so let me know let me know but we're just gonna cut this little delicious treat told Adam the other day to use that for cutting massive four two trunking works a treat have you set squared it and everything yeah oh delicious not, not the size because it'll just go through won't it where's the grommet should be like <clears throat> fuse spot uh, the fuse board box shifted that across so now we've got the trunk in that will sit up nicely covers the holes that'll clip up and it'll be flushed together we'll get them screwed in a minute but what we want to do is open these two holes that i've made so we're going to multi-tool between it we'll put some grommet strip around it feed that through feed the earth in and then we'll seal this back up with some fire sealer which we've got somewhere but just before that we'll run the 2.5 into here so uh, that's sort of the logic behind this but like I say please let me know your thoughts on this and regulations and uh, we'll get this all up and done and I'll wish you inside just show you the down lights and then I'll let you know a final price of what we gave and then in accordance to what you guys should think it was worth or to be fair whatever I say if it was going to be Jordan from Artisan doing it you'd probably say it's four times more expensive but there we go also, congratulations, Jordan, because maybe by now, maybe, you're very close, you would have hit 100K, and he's the first YouTuber, sort of vlogger like us, to hit 100K. Massive milestone, so well done for me, the first, and uh, all the best, mate. You, you genuinely deserve it. You've worked very hard, and uh, we're all proud of you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> So that's all on. Last thing I want to do is just run you inside, show you the spotlight and where the existing fusible was. And then I'd like to have everyone's thoughts of what you would have charged. And then we can reveal my price and uh, see how close we were to everyone else. So this is where the existing fusible was in the back of this cupboard, which you can sort of see back there. The cables then run on an angle across the top of a gas pipe, which you can see up there, all plastered in, no capping, no nothing. And then for the ceiling we cut a sack yeah, channel right. all the way across the ceiling that allowed us to pull this down light and there's a light over here yeah, to link through which gave us enough room for eight spots no nine spots add these nine spots um which is really brightened up because it was very very dark over there this is where the new doorway is going in the garage and just behind here up here is a bedroom you pull all the cables directly through and the fuse board is literally directly behind where it is at the moment Okay, uh, so this is the part where I want you to pause the video in a second. I'll just run through. So we remove an existing fuse board, we push it through the wall, adaptable box, trunking down to a 20-way SPD fuse box RCBO board, extended the tails, which were roughly eight meters yeah, so ish right. each. New main earth, new tails, uh, KMF switch, 80 amp fuse in there, uh, extra socket in the garage. Also nine LED fire rate JCC down lights in the kitchen. Bulbs. That, lamps for them as well. Yeah. So all in all, the price I'm about to give you is minus, uh, there was uh, I need price for eight spotlights and I haven't added the socket on yet. So pause it now. I'm VAT registered, so whatever I say is gonna be plus VAT as well. So work that out. Uh, but pause it now, put down below what you think. And uh, the closest wins a prize, you don't. The closest, I'll let you tell you what, the closest Adam will come to your house on Christmas Day and give you a cuddle. <laughs> okay, deal? Not a chance. Absolutely. Um, right, so my price, so we Tradeify, this is a sponsored bit, but it's all to do with the video. So for some reason, my iPad isn't connected to the internet, so I can't show you on a big screen, so I'll show you on my phone. I've tried to remove all the customer details. So all the stuff I've just said below, Testify and cert certify all circuits, notify bill and control. So I put a price in of £1,600 plus the VAT for all of that work. Um, so with the Tradeify app, I'll put the link below. There's a deal on at the moment and I'll put it into the description uh, with the link. Tradeify is my job management app that helps me quote, invoice, uh, schedule work, run my business pretty much day to day. If I lost this and stopped using the app, I literally wouldn't know what to do, backed on pen and paper. I would be up in the air with everything. Uh, it's helped, like now I've got the certificate. If my iPad loads, um, I'll attach my uh, Easy Cert certificate to my invoice on the app. You link it through. One day I'll show you how to do it on the iPad. 
Um, I just need to make like fake invoice and a fake certificate up so obviously customer's details aren't visible. Um, but then I can email that straight through. When the customer then opens the email, I can see at the bottom of my um, invoice on the phone, it will tell me when the, the invoice was opened, when it was read, if it was reopened, and then obviously when they click the green button once they've paid, it notifies me. But if they don't, if the problem I have sometimes, if they don't read the instructions, don't clean, clean the clean, don't click the green button to say they've paid, uh, Tradeify send automatic reminders of invoices out every week, which is really nice because some people do forget. Um, but equally, it's a good reminder for me to say all my customers, click the green button. So, yeah, so let me know how close I was, whether you know I was expensive or cheap or... So, yeah, that's uh, that's what it is. Let me know from below. And equally, like I said before in the video, let me know about the main tails going through def separate holes in a metal enclosure. What would you do? I'm not perfect. Unfortunately, people that watch our videos may seem to think that we know everything. I really don't. He doesn't. I yeah. know everything. He knows more than me by the sounds of it at college. Um, but no, not from college. Definitely not from college. Yeah. No, yeah, because college is the best thing in the world, isn't it? Oh yeah, you learn loads there. Eh? <laughs> or is that Dave Savory videos? Yeah. And Mark Allison. Mark knows everything. Mark knows everything. That's a fact. He should be a lecturer. Um, but yeah, let us know down below, and I'll put loads of links to all my other stuff with Expert Electrical, my Amazon store, Uni Light stuff. So um, give it all a click. I'm not quite sure how close this is coming out to Christmas. So. Uh, have a nice Christmas, everyone, and um, look forward to Adam's cuddle, whoever wins the closest. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Bye. -bye then. Bye.